It's the weekend and it is time to get things done and cross things off our to-do list. We're gonna be productive today and make things happen. I'm gonna be sharing some of my favorite tips that I love to apply when I have tons to do around my home. Let's get right into the video. As much as I would have loved to stay in bed and cuddle Blissy Girl, we are being productive today and we have quite a bit to do. So whenever I have to wash all of the bedding, I like to start first thing in the morning. It's like the first thing I do, getting that first cycle in the washing machine since there's so many cycles that I have to do. The earlier I start, the better. On days I have a lot to do, I like to make a filling breakfast so that way I'm not having to stop like midway in the middle of me cleaning certain things. I like to make something that will keep me full for a while. So I'm just going ahead and grilling up some turkey bacon. I did one egg, season that up with salt and pepper, and then I use half of an avocado to spread on top of a piece of sourdough. And then I put some of the turkey bacon and the egg, and it is amazing. You can have like two slices of toast but today I wanted to have one slice and a side of some oranges. Hey guys, happy weekend. Today is Saturday and we are being productive today. We're getting things done off our to-do list. We're crossing things off. We're making things happen. We're not making excuses today. So tons of motivation to get productive today. I'm also gonna be sharing some of my favorite tips that I love to utilize when I have so much to do around the house. One of my number one tips when you're trying to be productive is make that to-do list. I always make a to-do list whenever I have a ton of things to get done. That way I don't forget anything. Like everything that I wanna accomplish for the day, I write out. You can do it on your cell phone, you can do it on a sheet of paper. I personally love doing it on a little whiteboard. I'll just write everything out that I have to do today. You can cross it off, erase it, whatever you like but I just like to list every single thing out. So that way I know exactly what needs to get done. While we're talking about a to-do list, another thing that I love to do that will help you out so much is time blocking. You can write a to-do list and give yourself a time for each item because what you don't wanna do when you have a lot of things to get done, you don't wanna burn yourself out and you don't wanna spend too much time on one task. So being realistic with yourself and setting time goals for each item is really helpful and it just kind of allows you to stay on track. So I'm just gonna go through all of the items on my list, kind of set some realistic times for each thing. So that way I know how long it's gonna take me, I'm gonna stay motivated, stay engaged. And if I'm on an item and I put 10 minutes and it's going into like 15 minutes, it's time for you to cut that task off and move on to the next thing. 
So not only do I have my to-do list done, I have time durations for each item on my to-do list. So that way I can stay nice and motivated. And the good thing about the first one with washing all bedding and with it taking four hours is I'm gonna be doing all of these other tasks while I'm washing my bedding. So I'm staying productive, I'm getting things done, and I'm not spending too much time on one task. One of my favorite things to do is doing my laundry on days that I have a lot of things to do throughout the house. It just makes the most sense because I'm home already, so I might as well be rotating the clothes between the washer and dryer. And then once I have the clothes washed and dried, I can fold it at the end of the night while sitting on the couch watching my favorite show. I find the hardest part like getting all the laundry washed, but now we're just taking the time to clean up up some of the dishes from breakfast. This is kind of like my 15 minute tidy that I usually will do after eating. We're gonna take a quick little break from today's video to share an exciting delivery. Yay, our farmer's dog box just arrived and we are so excited. We love the farmer's dog. If you guys have not heard of the farmer's dog by now, they make real fresh food for your dog sent to your doorstep. We get such an amazing report every time we take our dogs to the vet. Their coat is healthy, their weight is perfect, their teeth's healthy. When you sign up for the farmer's dog, you take a questionnaire. It will ask you breed, weight, activity level, if your dog has any food allergies and they will create the perfect recipe for your pup. You excited to eat, Lissy girl? <laughs> you excited for the farmer's dog? Good girl. You can see how much she loves the food. Blissy, are you there? <laughs> she only cares about this delicious food. Love the food, Bentley? Good boy. We have gotten so many of our friends and family members on the farmer's dog. I know your dog will love it. Use my link down below and save 50% off your first box. So the dryer just has a couple more minutes and we're gonna be ready to take our first load out so we can start getting the bedding on the bed. But another tip I have to share with you guys is put your distractions away, turn them off, put them in a drawer if you have to. My cell phone is right now in this drawer because I know if I have it out, I'm gonna be browsing TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, all the things and five minutes turns into 10 minutes, and 10 minutes turns into 20 minutes, and next thing you know, you're on your phone for an hour, and that could have been time you checking off things on your to-do list. So tune it out. Instead, find something else to do that's not a distraction for you. So for me, I will listen to some music. If you wanna play like a motivational like video on YouTube, do that. Just anything that's gonna keep you going and not distract you. Several loads and hours later, the bedding is all washed. That's why I love starting the cycle super early. Like I started washing all this bedding at 7 a.m. and I don't wash like every single article on the bed every time I wash the sheets. Usually I'll just wash the sheets weekly, but it had been some weeks since I washed every single item. So I wanted to take care of that today and it's gonna feel so good at the end of the night when I get in the bed and I have nice and clean sheets. I always tell you guys that, but there just really is nothing like it.
feels so good to start to get some things crossed off our to-do list. It makes me feel so productive as I'm like erasing things and getting things done. But we put the fresh bedding on the bed and cross that off. And now we moved on to wiping down all of the surfaces in the room. And then I went ahead and let the Roomba kind of run a bit and vacuum the room for me. I had just deep cleaned the floors. So luckily I didn't have to worry about that. And now we're moving on to the next task, which is vacuuming our couch. It only takes about five minutes. It's really fast and simple, especially if you do it on a regular basis. We're gonna vacuum it, and then we're gonna continue to just get all the surfaces in the living room wiped down since we spend so much time out here. I want it to be nice and fresh for the start of the week. couch is nice and vacuumed and I'm using my Caldrea. It's a linen and room spray and it smells amazing. I'm using it to kind of just refresh the couch. I also like to just kind of spritz it in the air. It makes any room smell amazing. And then you guys know I love my Method products. This is just a wood cleaner and I'm just gonna be using this and going around the room and just wiping down all the different surfaces. Could only get better. I need it more than ever. They don't, don't. How can I believe you when everything is secret, secret? Everything is secret, secret. For the new you, like I'm old news in your review mirror. It must be nice you went and got a So we are almost done with our to-do list, checking things off, getting things done. I just stopped and took a little bit of a break so I could have a snack. But I wanted to share with you guys another tip that's on my mind. I'm actually getting ready to do one of the tips I shared with you all in my healthy habits video. If you missed that video, it is a good one. You should definitely check it out because I share like things I love to do every day to be healthy. So I'm getting ready to do one of those tips, which is like prepping out my dinner ingredients. So that way when I go to make dinner, it's gonna be quick and easy. But what I wanted to share with you guys is stop making excuses for the tasks that you say you're going to complete. I know for me, I'm getting ready to start on like prepping out dinner. And I was starting to like change my mind on what I said I was going to do. I was making excuses of like, oh, it's Saturday. I can do takeout tonight. I don't have to cook. And I was making all these different excuses. And it's like, you know what? I said, I'm gonna cook a yummy meal tonight. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So that's a tip I have for you. Instead of making an excuse, find out why you're making the excuse you're making. So if it's not wanting to cook dinner, why don't you wanna cook dinner? Are you tired? Can you maybe prep out those ingredients the night before so that way you don't have to worry about it? Or maybe you need a recipe idea. Can you allot some time in your schedule each week to maybe browse Pinterest and pick a few meals that you wanna make? Or maybe it's a cleaning task that you are making every excuse not to get done. Instead of loading your to-do list of all all these things, maybe just have that one item be on your to-do list. Just find out a reason why you're making the excuses, find a solution, fix the problem. And the way I like to think about it is the harder you work today, the easier your day is going to be tomorrow. So I wanted to share with you guys an easy, yummy recipe. So I got some questions about how I make my salmon when I shared with you guys my Costco grocery haul. So I thought this would be the perfect video to share with you guys how I make my salmon. I'm making it different literally every single week, but 
This is one of my favorite ways. So the first thing you wanna do is get your sweet potatoes going because they do take about 30 to 45 minutes depending on your size. So I cooked mine earlier in the day so that way I wouldn't have to worry about it when I was ready to cook dinner. Um, but I'm just seasoning up the salmon with salt, pepper, and some paprika. And then we're gonna make a marinade to go on top of the salmon. That's just going to give it so much amazing flavor. As always, I'll have the recipe typed down below for you guys if you want to recreate it. But this sauce that I'm making, you can make ahead of time and you can just let your salmon sit in the sauce until you're ready to cook it. That's what I personally did. I just covered this casserole dish with some foil, popped it in the fridge. And then when I was ready to bake it, it was like simple and easy. So it's a few hours later and I wanna share with you guys how this recipe turned out. So I popped it in the oven for like 25, 30 minutes. I sauteed up some vegetables and then those sweet potatoes came out the air fryer and here's how the meal looked. It was so easy to make, so delicious. Definitely a favorite that we love to have. The final productivity tip that I have for you all is to use a planner to plan out your week. So I love to do this on the weekends, either Saturday or Sunday. I will go through my phone and make sure all of my appointments are written down in my planner. So that way Monday morning when I go to open it, I will know exactly what appointments I have for the week. And I also love that this planner has a section for weekly goals and intentions. So that way I can write out my goals for the week. And right now what I'm doing is I'm just writing my video idea that I have planned to film on Monday. I'm writing all the different scenes that I need to make sure that I capture. So that way Monday morning is nice and simple. I know exactly what I have to do. And that is all I have for you guys. A day of being productive, my productivity routine, things I love to do to just kind of help me get things done on my to-do list. I hope this video gave you all the motivation to get things done today. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Consider hitting that subscribe button and I will be seeing you all very soon with a brand new video. Bye.